Hey there guys! So I hope you're having a great day today because I'm having an awesome day. Today I'm doing my May wrap up and also it's the end of book review month. Book review month was so awesome. I did 12 book reviews. 12! 12 book reviews you guys. So, so many book reviews and I'm so glad I did it and it was so much fun to make all the videos and to get to hear what you guys had to say. <laughs> This video is my wrap up for May and also I'm going to count down the books that I read and reviewed last month and kind of tell you from my least favorite to my most favorite. Um, but yeah, let's start off with the wrap up. So these are the books that I read in the month of May. I also read Pushing the Limits. I read Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry, The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness, Me Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews, The Child Thief by Brom and also Saga Volume 2 and Saga Volume 3 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. Um, so these three books are the only books that I read and didn't review, so um, they're not going to be in my countdown, so I'm not going to kind of tell you about them in my countdown, so I'll tell you about them now. Um, so this book, The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness, I loved so much. I finally read it, you guys. I finally read it, and it was amazing. Five out of five. So, 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 so good, and I've already read uh, Monsters of Men this month, and I loved it as well. Um, but yeah, love it so much. Definitely, definitely read it. If you haven't read it, if you've read the first one, The Knife from No Letting Go, and you haven't read this one, read it. Because it's it's amazing. It's just so, so good. Um, but yeah, 5 out of 5. And then also, Saga Volume 2 and Volume 3. I love these as well. I love these as well. I gave them 5 out of 5, both of them. This, this one, book two, is when I became obsessed with this series, and I can't wait for volume four, which I didn't even, I, there's no release date, so I didn't even know when it's coming out. I don't, that's just, what is that? That's just, like, not even like a vague kind of, oh, it's coming out that year or something. We don't even know. I don't even know. I'm very upset about that, but yeah, I love this, and I will be rereading it a lot. I've already reread it once, because... I was so sad, like, I was like, I'm gonna have to wait forever for the next volume, let's reread this again. And now on to the countdown. Number 12 is Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. This is about a boy named Greg who has only one friend named Earl and his mom forces him to be friends with a dying girl who he used to kind of be friends with, um, and that's kind of what the story is about. Um, this is supposed to be a very funny book. I did not find it funny. It fell very, very flat with me. It just... I was straight-faced most of the way through. I did laugh, like, once or twice, but that was because of Earl. And I feel like it almost wasn't supposed to happen. Like, I wasn't supposed to be laughing at that part, um, but I did because I found it funny. Um, but yeah, if you don't like, if you don't find this funny, then you're not going to like it. Um, so I was kind of disappointed, and yeah, I'm giving this 3 out of 5. Number 11 is Allegiant by Ron Girls. I'm sure you know what this book is. Um, and yeah, I was really disappointed with this book overall. It was just not a very good book. Um, I did, however, like the end of the book and what happens at the end, um, and if you want to know why, then I talk about it a lot in my review of it, um, which will be linked below. All the reviews of all the books that I've done will be linked below because I've reviewed all of them because this is a list of books that I reviewed last month. Um, but yeah, didn't really like it overall, but I did like the end, so I give this 3 out of 5, by the way. Number 10 is Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry. This is kind of a contemporary romance book. Um, about some a girl and a boy who kind of have a lot of problems, but they find themselves, you know, attracted to each other. It's kind of a cliche kind of storyline, um, and that's how I found it when I started reading it. It was very cliched, and the characters were just very stereotypical for me. Um, but then about halfway, or not halfway through, but like about 70 pages in, I started to really like it, um, and I really started to enjoy it and care about the characters. Um, but just the start was really, really bad for me. I did not like the start. And so I'm going to give it 4 out of 5. Number 9 is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. This is a fantasy book about a girl named Sir Selena Sardothian who's an assassin and she's badass and she does awesome stuff and it's kind of about her story and what happens to her. Um, and I really like this book. I love fantasy a lot. Um, and I feel like this is a good beginner fantasy book to read. Like if you haven't read fantasy before, definitely check this book out. Um, but I did a lot, have a lot of issues with it. Like there were a lot of things that I didn't really like, um, and which I go into in my review. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna give this a 4 out of 5, and that's why it's number 9. Number 8 is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Maas, which is the second book in the Throne of Glass series, and there's gonna be six books in the series. Um, I really like this book, and it kind of fixed all the things that I didn't like about the first book. 
Um, however, there were some things that I didn't like about this book. And I, I don't know, there's just something that's stopping me from really loving it. I enjoy reading it a lot, but I still see a lot of things that I wish were done better. And so I'm also going to give this 4 out of 5. But yeah, I did really enjoy it. And I, I really look forward to the next book, which is Hair of Fire, which is coming out this year. Number 7 is Where She Went by Gail Foreman. This is the second book in the If I Stay duology. Um, I really loved If I Stay, and Where She Went was really great. But it kind of lacked some of the things that I liked about If I Stay. Um, um, but I still really enjoyed it and I love the way that Gail Foreman writes. It's really honest and just really full of emotion and I gave this book 4 out of 5. Number 6 is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. This is an awesome classic. I haven't read a classic in a really long time and this was awesome. It's about a man who moves to London and he's really beautiful and really innocent and a friend of his p paints a picture of him and as time goes on he never ages and never loses, uh, loses his innocent look but the painting starts to get like older and starts to lose its innocence. Um, so yeah, I really like the premise of the story and it was exceptionally well written, like so beautifully written, the prose was awesome and just the things that were said. I got so many quotes that I love from this book. It's just so well written and I really like the themes as well that are present in the story and so that's why I'm giving it 4.5 out of 5. Number 5 is If I Stay by Gail Foreman. This is the book that I mentioned before that goes with Where She Went in the duology. Um, this is the first book and this book I loved. It's about a girl who has all these decisions to make and then something happens and she only has one choice to make and it's a really really hard decision, the hardest of all, um, and it's about her journey to make the decision and, and kind of what happens. Um, so yes, I really loved how this was written. Like I said before, I love the honesty of Gail Foreman's writing and just the emotion and the characters and the story are amazing. And I just, I loved it so much. It was just so much emotion, so much like, it was just, it was crazy reading it. Like I just, it was like happy and then sad and then happy and then sad. Um, and I'm gonna give it 4.5 out of 5. Number 4 is Christ by Marissa Meyer. This is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series, and they're all um, fairy tale retellings set in like a post apocalyptic, dystopian kind of world. Um, and this one, Christ, is about Rapunzel, and it's wonderful, it's awesome. I love reading these books. They're so much fun to read, just so much fun. The most fun books ever to read. I just love them so much, and this book got 5 out of 5. Number 3 is Death Note by Sukumi Oba and Takashi. Takashi Obata, Takashi Obata. This is my first ever manga and I loved it so so much. It's about a boy um, na named Delight who finds a death note that was dropped by a death god um, and if you have this book you can write a person's name in it and that person will die and you can choose how they die and when they die and like the time that they die and so you think that when someone finds a book like this they'd be a little bit hesitant and you know would be scared or wouldn't know what to do. But Light, on the other hand, decides to write a whole bunch of people's names in the book and decides to like rid the world of evil and it's awesome and there are so many awesome characters and the storyline is amazing and I can't wait to see where it goes um, in the next volumes and I already have the next volume and I can't wait to read it. I'm probably going to read it today. Um, but yeah, really love this. 5 out of 5. Awesome, great manga book and I'm so glad that it was my first one. Number 2 is Saga Volume 1 by Brian K. Vaughan who's the writer and Fiona Staples who's the illustrator. I love this book. It's awesome. Just so amazing. The characters are so complex and so diverse and the storyline is awesome. The world is incredible and just so detailed and awesome and I love it and I give it a 5 out of 5. And finally number 1 which is probably my new favorite book ever. It's The Child Thief by Brahm. This book is incredible, amazing. It's a Peter Pan retelling um, that's dark and twisted and cruel. It's about Peter who goes into the real world and takes children, steals them. Um, kind of, and takes them to a place called Avalon, which used to be really magical and beautiful, but has now kind of lost kind of its magic and luster, and is filled with war, and is really scary and dangerous, and that's kind of what the story is about. It's really awesome, so, so amazing, there's illustrations as well that are really beautiful, and I just love it so much, definitely, definitely check this one out. Um, but yeah, so those are my top 12 books that I reviewed. Um, and like the order of how much I like them. Definitely check out the reviews, they will all be linked in the description box below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye!